or welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really wanted to do a video showing you guys the American Girl dolls of this year that have been on my wish list for quite some time now. The very first category I want to start off with is the Girl of the Year dolls because those are dolls that I have been wanting for a very long time now and I'm just trying to get good deals on all of them. So let's go ahead and get right started. The very first American Girl doll of the year that I've been wanting for a really long time is Leah. Leah is such a beautiful doll and I am in love with her hair. Uh, for a while, once I got Yvette, I was thinking maybe I shouldn't get her because they have like the same hair color and their skin color is almost identical, but I love Leah so much. I think she's such a beautiful doll and I regret not getting her when she was the girl of the year. So Leah is probably number one on my list right now. I'm actually in the middle of bidding for her on eBay. So fingers crossed for my girl Leah. She would be a great addition to the family. The next doll of the year that I've also been eyeing for some time now is Kanani. Kanani is one of the holy grail dolls of the years in my opinion. Her hair is what stands out to me the most. Like just look at how long and beautiful her hair is. I also love that she is part of a darker skin collection of the dolls and she has such a beautiful eye color and I love the just face mold and I think she just is a really stunning doll and I want her so badly but every time I try to get her somebody outbids me and I'm like no so still trying to look for a great deal on her it's hard to find a Kanani nowadays in good uh, condition for a decent price but hopefully I can find her soon because I really really want her and I just so badly want to braid her hair and do so many different hairstyles so keep a lookout for Kanani guys we, we really want her <laughs> The next doll of the year that I really want is Grace. I think Grace is absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm really into the dolls with the thicker brows now and Grace does have the thicker brows. And alongside with her freckles and her blue eyes and her long straight hair, I think it's really pretty. Her hair is not super duper long, but it's long enough to do lots of different hairstyles with. So it's something that I'm really interested in buying and I really hope to get her soon. But um, I've mentioned it in my previous video that her price has gone up recently a lot lately, at least in my opinion, because she's, um, you know, Olivia Rodrigo. She posted an um, uh, Instagram post of her at the American Girl store and everyone was like fangirling because she played Grace's movie. And so now her price has increased. But I think Grace is just absolutely beautiful. And I love that she loves pink and I love her story and that she bakes because I love to bake. So. And Grace is doll number three on my wish list. The next girl of the year doll that I really want is gonna be Corinne. Now, I think I'm gonna be purchasing Corinne very, very soon, guys, because I'm not sure if they're gonna keep her for as long as they kept Blair, like for all this time. After it's been a year, I know they're starting to do that. Um, but it, it, just in case if they don't do that, I wanna make sure that I purchase her because I really like her colored hair. I was gonna get her before I bought Yvette, but I couldn't, guys. Yvette, I just really, really needed her in my collection because she's such a unique doll. But so is Corinne, and I love her face mold so much, and I love the highlights in her hair, and she'd be a great addition to my collection and add some diversity, so I really, really want Corinne. So that's it for the girl of the year dolls that are top on my wish list. The next category I want to go into is my historical dolls. So number one on my list for the historical dolls would have to be Cecile. Cecile is such a unique doll and I love that she's a darker skin doll. I really wish American Girl would come up with more dolls of darker skin and actually be original. Yes, I'm throwing shade. American Girl, if you're listening. Um, uh, as you all may know, Cecile is very hard to find, in my opinion at least, and she does get quite pricey, especially if you want her in like pristine condition, which is very hard to find because since she was from so long ago, a lot of kids had her when they were very young and played around with her beautiful curly hair. I mean, how could you not? So it's really hard to find her for good condition and a decent price. But she is the top doll on my histor historical doll wish list. I really hope to have her soon. And I really like her outfit and her shoes. Everything about her is beautiful. And her accessories as well, I would like to own someday. So yeah, definitely Cecile is number one for me. The next historical doll that I really want is Elizabeth. Now, it's actually funny because I did buy McKenna recently. 
Um, I did thrift McKenna, but uh, I didn't really realize how similar uh, McKenna and Elizabeth looked to each other until I got McKenna and had her in my hands. I was just kind of like, oh shoot, like they're very similar. Although this particular photo of Elizabeth in this dress made me fall in love with her. I look at this photo quite often in my camera roll and just imagining that I had actually had her in real life. I really like her tight pink curls on the side of her hair and I know this outfit is a bit controversial for some people but I really really like this outfit on her and I think that the color suits her really nicely and I know this isn't her original outfit but I actually prefer this outfit over her original so yeah I would definitely love to own Elizabeth someday. The next historical doll is Molly. I've been wanting Molly since I was a little kid now. There's just always been a doll that I've purchased before I thought of getting Molly for some reason. I don't know why, nothing against Molly. She's really beautiful. I guess if there is one main reason why I've been hesitant of purchasing Molly is because I think she looks really similar to Samantha Parkington. Um, and I did purchase Samantha a little bit over a year ago, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe just about a year now. So yeah, I really do want Molly though. Uh, she brings back a lot of nostalgia of being a kid and I would love to have her in my collection someday. The next historical girl doll of the year that I really want, or sorry, just historical girl doll, is Addie Walker. I've said this many times how badly I want Addie. I really, really love so many of her outfits and I'm sad that I don't own even one of them. Um, I have also been eyeing a lot of her clothes on eBay, Poshmark, Macari, all these different sites trying to look for good prices for Addie, but I really want to purchase her before I find all her collection, unless I get like really good deals on the outfits, and of course I won't wait till last minute till I buy her, but yeah, I really, really do want Addie, and I love that she comes with her ears pierced, I absolutely love her story, and her textured hair, um, her wig is the only textured wig I'd have in my collection if I were to have Eddie. So yeah, she's super high on my wish list. So that's it for my historical girl dolls that I would love to own someday. Now I'm going to move on to the Truly Me line. There are quite a bit of dolls that I really, really would love to have. So yeah, stay tuned. Another historical doll that I would love to have is Claudie. And I know this isn't her original outfit either. But this outfit is what actually made me fall in love with her more, like the bonnet. Oh my goodness. I was so happy when American Girl came up with this bonnet for this doll. I mean, she deserved it so much. She's absolutely beautiful. I am a fan of the painted eyelashes on some dolls and I think it works really well on Claudia and I would love to have her so, so badly as alongside with this outfit. It's a huge factor of why I really want to purchase her. So first being is Truly Me number 54, specifically when this era of the dolls was out with the floral print dress and the blue sweater. I feel like a lot of times American Girl says that they're the same doll, but as a doll collector for quite some time now, I can tell the differences. Oh, it's almost like they're changing their faces, but considering them the same doll, which I'm not a huge fan of American Girl doing. So I would love to find a number 54 in this era when they had this outfit because I think this is when her face mold looks the best, at least to me. I really, really love her face mold and her bangs. It just makes her look so adorable. I love the youth that it adds to her face. And I'm a huge fan of her eyes. I think that they make her look so sweet and so beautiful. And I've really been eyeing number 54 a lot lately. And every time someone posts pictures of her on Instagram, I just die inside because I'm like, I want her so bad. So yeah, I really want number 54. Another doll that I think has a really sweet face, again, during the same time period, is Truly Me number 62. This is another Sonali face mold, which is my second favorite face mold, uh, first being the Josefina face mold. I really, really want number 62. I do already own two Sonali face molds, but it would not hurt me at all to add a third. The only problem is, again, her price. She's really expensive on everywhere that I've seen her and tried to find her. If anyone knows where anyone is selling a number 62 for a good price, I'm really interested. I'm talking like, even if it's $100 or below, that's what I'm looking for. I, I don't really like paying retail for a used doll, but maybe I will for her, honestly, because I really, really think her face is so sweet. And I would love 
to have her more than anything. I love her skin color. Her hair is a bit short for my liking. I like my dolls with longer hair, but it's still manageable. Like it's not too short to the point where you can't add pigtails in her. So yeah, really want number 62. Another Truly Me doll that I want is number 54. This is a Josefina face mold and another doll with short hair that I didn't think I would like until, up until recently. I've really been interested in her and I think she has such a sweet face. Um, I will leave credit down below to whose picture this is because someone actually did a review on her on YouTube and made me want this doll really badly. So shout out to you because now I have another doll that I'm looking forward to buying. <laughs> Another Truly Me doll that I'm really interested in buying is Truly Me number 21. I feel like 21 is on a lot of people's wish lists right now. And it's because I think we're all obsessed with those cute little curls that she has in front of her face. It is adorable. I know that American Girl, if I'm not mistaken, reproduced her and made her without the little pink curls in the front of her face. I don't know what that was about. What was American Girl thinking? Because to me, the pink curls are what makes her so unique and really adds a lot of personality to this doll. And I'm not a huge fan of the line brows, but they do work on number 21 for whatever reason. Again, maybe it's the curls, but whatever the reason is, I really, really want her. Now number 41, I'm also really interested in. I know she looks a lot like Ruthie. Um, I prefer her over Ruthie because she doesn't have the line brows and I do really like her curly hair. Yes, it is short, but I can deal with it because it has curls, so it's really cute. And I feel like still you can do something with her hair and it won't look too weird even though her hair is short because I know having short hair with your dolls does limit you to some her, um, hairstyles. So yeah, I would love to have number 41. Now on to some of the new Truly Me dolls. I'm really interested in number 121. I know she looks exactly, or sorry, has some similarities to Maritza and believe it or not, I actually used to prefer Maritza before this doll came out, but there's something about her that just makes her look a lot younger and cuter to me. I do like it that my dolls look more like older, like teens, but I don't mind having dolls that have more of a sweet face and to me that's what number 121 is and I really like the length of her hair. I think it's perfect and I like the waves a lot. It reminds me a lot of my hair. If anything, honestly, Marita would probably, or sorry, Marita's lookalike, number 121 would have to be my lookalike, so I really do want her. Another doll that I really want is Truly Me number 117. I love the Nenea face mold with this beautiful luscious color of hair. Like this is like a brunette with like some blonde streaks and along with the green eyes and again the feathered eyebrows and painted lashes. I think she's absolutely beautiful. She would be a doll that is more on the older looking side of my collection. And then look at the back of her hair. Like this is just absolutely beautiful. I love it so much and I really, really want to add her to my collection. The next doll that I really want is number 109. I think this doll is really, really beautiful and she has such beautiful hair and I just love her so much. I really like the brown and red in her hair and I think it's really unique. And um, her eye color is super beautiful and I really like her feathered brows. Again, I keep saying that, but it's because I really do like them. I do like that she's a darker skin doll and I'm not a huge fan of the outfit that she comes in. I feel like this stock photo doesn't do her justice. Like every other photo I've seen of her looks beautiful, but then I go back to her stock photo and I'm not a huge fan. I'm sorry, I hope that doesn't offend anyone. It's just my opinion. The last doll that I've really been eyeing is Truly Me number 108. This doll looks a lot like Josefina, but I love, love, love the length of her hair with those big luscious curls. And I actually do really like this outfit, especially her sandals. Those pink sandals are to die for. My favorite color is pink, and I really like the jean jacket that they come with if you choose to include their accessories. Alongside with her headband, because I also do wear headbands, and I just think her face makeup and paint is really stunning on this doll specifically. She's super duper high on my list. 
Alrighty everyone, so thank you all so much for watching my video. I hope this was enjoyable for you guys. Thank you all for tuning in. I had a lot of fun showing you guys the dolls that are on my wish list and have been on my wish list for quite some time now. I do hope to get a lot of them soon, but I know this was kind of lengthy. I have a lot of dolls that I really want. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed our beautiful guest, Jess, right here. She's looking so beautiful next to our new Christmas tree right here. So yeah, everyone, thank you all so much for watching. Have a lovely day or night, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, everyone.